Israel. It shows a Houston Republican Party chaplain ranting against Islam. The video was taken during a meeting to pick people to serve as Republican Party chairs for the various precincts. Eyewitnesses reporter Maya Shea is live at City Hall with what she's learned about this incident, Maya. Yeah, this incident took place Monday night, but it's making waves around the country. The person in question is not only the Harris County Republican Party's chaplain, but he also works here at City Hall as the staffer for one of the council members. And tonight, he still has a job. Syed Ali just wanted to help out fellow Republicans when he decided to become a precinct chair. I was always a delegate. But during Monday night's routine Harris County Republican Party meeting, the group's chaplain, Trevor Gordon, disagreed. I would, I would ask you to take into consideration the fact that Islam and Christianity do not mix. In the now viral video, Gordon says his reason for opposing Ali is simple, Ali's Islamic faith. But I, I will also tell you that during, this, during my career, this man did not bow his head. During the Pledge of Allegiance, he did not utter a word. He did Audible gasps of surprise could be heard in the audience. And in the days following, Trevor, who is also the outreach director for City Council Member Mike Knox, got an earful from his boss. He made some clearly incendiary uh, comments, and I can't defend those in any way, shape, or form. That's not the policy of this office. It Knox is. says he's counseled Gordon, but will give him a second chance, and so will the Republican Party chair. I think if people have opinions, uh, they're free to voice them, and let's, uh, let the marketplace of ideas work out. Even Ali isn't mad. The Constitution of the United States gives him freedom of speech. That was his right. To speak. Ali, though, is reveling in the fact that at the end of that meeting, the overwhelming majority of fellow Republicans voted down Gordon's attempts to kick him out. All those in favor of striking Mr. Ali, some reports say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. No. So there you go. Tonight, Ali is indeed a precinct chair. We tried reaching out to Gordon. He has not gotten back to us. In the meantime, we should note that the city council member says that Gordon will no longer be the outreach director for his office. He will now instead be the director of special projects. For Live Downtown, Maya Shea, 13 Eyewitness News. Now